I think by the time we see clients, they're so irritated or tired of it not working well, they're willing to listen. Yeah. Um, and I think they've tried everything else. And I, and, I, and I do think, particularly when you get to C-suite level, when you know they're out talking to people and they're like, they don't get what we do. Um, or we're not getting the business we should have gotten we're getting passed over. I think they've just had enough of it. So, mm -hmm. and maybe that's the pain factor that sends them yeah. in, so they're willing to do it. Yeah. But I think I th I think it's probably scary. I mean, anytime, well, anytime you let a consultant in the room, it's scary, right? Uh, because they're going to come in and they're going to bring observations. But the people who show up, they want to make it better. They want to get there. Right. They're tired of banging their head against the wall. So, yeah. yeah, makes sense. It takes a want to have different outcomes though. Yeah. And I do think that that's a, not, not, not every client that we work with is ready for that. And, um, or not everyone needs it either. That's also true. true. But, uh, I do appreciate that sometimes Pat's the bull in the China shop <laughs> <laughs> making the observation. Um, and you know, you see which clients are comfortable with that road, but well, it, we, it's certainly uh, some uh, of the more exciting work that you know, if you talk about mm -hmm. the trust, we, we did this for a big PGA Tour event, not in Minnesota. I can actually say who it is because they don't care. Um, but it was the Byron Nelson Championship uh, yeah. in Dallas and did this whole exercise for them. And we went out and talked to PGA Tour pros about their tournament. And, you know, the people who ran the tournament, they say, oh, no, Tiger Woods tells us this is his favorite tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Vijay Singh loves playing here. Well, we went out and did candid interviews with all of them. Talk to 100 golfers. They hated the course. They hated the course. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we came back and we went through, here's, here's what your most important audience told you about your tournament. They fired us. They fired us. So they just said, wow. what's your agenda? What's going on? This goes to your trust question. Yeah. Uh, what's your agenda? And we're like, we don't have an agenda. We just we went out and anonymously did these interviews with people who were critical to they called about a week later and said, okay, we got over it. Come back. Oh, my gosh. Um, and you know what? They built a brand new course because wow. players said, you're a golfer, so you can get yeah, this. Yeah. The players said, you know what they hated about the tournament more than anything? Every tee shot, first shot was blind. Uh, yeah. It's not blind for regular players, but it was blind for PGA Tour pros who can out hit yeah. the fairway. Huh. And so they realized we need to either get a new course or build a new course. They built one. And uh, and so that's that kind of goes back to the yeah, trust because no, they uh, they were angry. I remember I was like, "What happened?" <laughs> but it, they'd never heard anyone say anything bad about it because people are genuinely nice. And the PGA Tour pros, you see them on TV every week. They go, "Oh, this is the best course and the best right. place. I just love it." And you're like, "No, they don't. No, they don't." Right. right. Uh, and and there there is something to learn from it, and you can make it better. And uh, mm -hmm. Those guys actually lost their cherished date on the PGA Tour calendar for about 10 years. Then they built a new course, and guess what? They're back they're on back. the date they want. They're, of course. They're, they're a better tournament for doing it, and it was kind of slipping away from them, and they couldn't quite figure it out. Hmm. But it was hard to hear 